Okay, so Rajon Rondo has been bought out by these Memphis Grizzlies, and now he's a free agent. And if you haven't been following the NBA offseason as closely as I have, you might be wondering, what was Rondo on the Grizzlies? And he was brought in for Eric Bledsoe with Patrick Beverly. And most people thought that when the Grizzlies brought them in, they'd just be trying to use them as, a chase, as trade pieces. And they were able to trade away Patrick Beverly and bring in a young asset in Jerry Culver. Now, apparently, Rajon Rondo didn't really have much trade value, so they're just buying him out. And the first thought and the first report that's come out is the Lakers are the front runners, And it makes some sense. If you're the Lakers, why wouldn't you bring Rondo in, who was a huge part of your winning championship? He was great on that playoff run. He stepped up big time. He knows the system, or at least he knows the coach. And he's shown that he can play with LeBron. When there was some questions whether those two could work together, and he showed he could work with him. But now with Westbrook, there's some more questions. Now, how does that work? Can you have a lineup with Rondo, Westbrook, and LeBron on the court? Maybe Rondo and LeBron are smart guys that seem to be able to fit, make it work. And if it doesn't, I mean, Rondo at the end of the season wasn't really even getting minutes for the Clippers anyway. So at least for him, but worst comes to worst, he'll be chilling in L.A., being on a squad where he can help out guys like Westbrook, you know, help him, you know, pick his part, pick his spots a little bit more offensively, maybe play a little bit smarter. And he'll be on, you're just on a squad that has a chance to win a ring. So if the Lakers makes us bring him in, for Rondo, I can't be mad at going to a team you already know you're comfortable with being in L.A., chance to win a ring. I'm not mad at that move at all. But as an NBA fan, where would I like to see him go? First thought, I mean, as a Bucks fan, I'd always be open to that. But we got Drew Holiday, just brought in George Hill, so it's not so much of a need. I would like to see Rondo with Giannis in that pick and roll. That would be beautiful. Hitting K-Mitty on the wing, I'd love to see it. But as an unbiased fan view... It would, be, it would make a lot of sense for him to go to the Heat. Now, the Miami Heat have gotten rid of Goran Dragic and Kendrick Nunn this summer. They replaced him with Kyle Lowry, but now the backup point guard positions, you lost two, you're bringing in one. Who's going to be their backup point guard? Why not bring in Rondo, who seems to be just a fit for what these Miami Heat have been doing? This offseason, they haven't you know gotten a superstar acquisition, but they've said, all right, we can't get a superstar. We're going to bring in a bunch of guys that we believe in come playoff time and some tough guys. They brought in the P.J. Tuckers of the world, who just won a ring. They brought in Kyle Lowry, who's won a ring. And then Markeith Morris, just a guy that's going to wrap you up and play tough come playoff time. And Rondo just seems to fit that perfectly. And a guy that, that would probably be needed over there in Miami. So as an NBA fan, I like to see players go to where they can actually be used. Lakers, they'll probably have a use for him, but possibly when it comes down to it, with all the options they have, Westbrook, LeBron, Ray Point, Talon Horton Tucker off the bench. I don't know how much Rondo will be used consistently, and I'd like to see him to go to a team that maybe he could actually elevate a little bit more. Maybe like the Heat. And if not them, maybe even the 76ers, who will most likely will trade Ben Simmons at some point, and then they'll just be left with Tyrese Maxey now that George Hill left there. That would be interesting too. And then lastly, the Nets. Not necessarily something I'd like to see happen because I'm not going to be someone as a Bucks fan that's rooting. Nets, get them, get another player, get another guy that's great in the playoffs. But at the same time, for the Nets, it would be pretty smart to try and bring him in. KD, if I'm him, I'm getting on the phone. Hey, Rajon Rajon Rondo, get over here. You could you could be saying, but they just got Patty Mills. Why would you need another point guard? Well, you've got Kyrie, who you can't rely upon to be healthy come season's end. And then Patty Mills, who's more of a scoring point guard. And when you look at that squad, they've got Harden, who is also a point guard. So you might be saying, why would you need another? But they're all really score first, score first players. Ron Harden can run an offense, and he showed he could do a great job playing fast first. But what he's going to be known for in his career is being an all-time great scorer. And if you bring in Rondo and just say your job is to get these amazing scores you have the most scoring power you could ever possibly work with and just distribute them the ball. Oh, he could have himself field days dropping 20 plus assists. I could see it. Imagine on the court, Rondo, Kyrie, Harden, and KD. Maybe Blake the Snake at the five. Oh my goodness, would that be a show. So if I'm him, basketball wise, I might go over to Brooklyn. If not that, maybe Miami. But Lakers, I can't be mad at because he's got some comfortability over there with the coach, with LeBron, and it's LA. So, and that's most most likely going to happen. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.